Question 5. Part C. Consider the parabola y equals x squared minus 8x plus 4. Part 1. Find the coordinates of the vertex. The first step is to complete the square on the right hand side. That is, completing the square on x squared minus 8x plus 4. Now to complete the square, we halve the middle term. So we're going to halve negative 8, so we get negative 4, and then square it. So the square of negative 4 is positive 16. So I'm going to add the positive 16 here. But we can't just turn plus 4 into plus 16 without compensating for it somewhere else. So if I'm adding 16 here, I need to take away 12 such that the net result of this is plus 4. The next step is to take this minus 12 and move it over to the other side. So the equation is y plus 12 is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. And in doing so, we create a perfect square on the right hand side. Factorising the right hand side, we get y plus 12 is equal to x minus 4 in brackets squared. Or writing it the other way around, we get x minus 4 in brackets squared is equal to y plus 12. And because the equation is in this form, in perfect square form, we can read the coordinates of the vertex directly. Therefore, the coordinates of the vertex are 4, negative 12. Alternatively, we can find the x-coordinate of the vertex using the formula x equals negative b over 2a where b is equal to negative 8 and a is equal to 1. So substituting negative 8 and 1 for b and a respectively, we get x is equal to minus or negative negative 8 over 2, and that simplifies to x equals 4, which corresponds to the x-coordinate of the vertex we found here. To find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we substitute x equals 4 into the original equation. So we get y is equal to 4 squared minus 8 times 4 plus 4, which equals negative 12, which corresponds to the y-coordinate of the vertex we found previously. Part 2. Find the coordinates of the focus. Note that finding the coordinates of the focus is not in the Mathematics Advanced Syllabus that was first assessed in 2020, but has been included in this video for completeness. So we're going to express the equation in the form x minus h in brackets squared is equal to 4a outside of y minus k in brackets, where h comma k are the coordinates of the vertex and a represents the focal length. Now from part 1, we have x minus 4 in brackets squared is equal to y plus 12. Now, the equation is in the form x minus h squared equals 4a outside of y minus k. Now, this bracket here is being multiplied by 1 on the outside. In other words, 4a here must equal 1. So solving for a, the equation 4a equals 1, we get a is equal to 1 over 4. So the focus is the point that is situated 1 over 4 units or 1 quarter units above the vertex since the parabola is concave up. Now the x coordinates of the focus is equal to the x coordinate of the vertex which equals 4 and the y coordinate of the focus is equal to negative 12 plus 1 over 4. So it's 1 over 4 units above the vertex, which equals negative 11 and 3 over 4. Therefore, the coordinates of the focus are 4, negative 11 and 3 over 4.